Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update brought to you by Pepperstone on Wednesday the 31st of January 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Uh, just flag a couple of points today and really I just want to say that uh, any dollar strength that we saw yesterday has uh, turned out to be rather transitory, both uh, the euro and sterling making gains against the dollar, and the New Zealand dollar also fighting back against its American counterpart. Uh, dollar index for its part trading back below 89, uh, and we'll look at some of the reasons for that momentarily. Turning to cryptocurrencies, uh, both Ethereum and Ripple had uh, what you might describe as a tough session yesterday, down around 95 and 14.5% respectively on the session. Right then, uh, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today. Uh, we've got a busy calendar today, uh, packed with data, so uh, let's just whiz through. Uh, we've already had uh, inflation data and consumer confidence data out of the UK this morning. Uh, we've also had uh, manufacturing and non-manufacturing PMIs out of China. And uh, late last night at 2 o'clock GMT, in fact, President Trump delivered his State of the Union speech. And we'll look at that, as I say, in a bit more detail momentarily. To come then at 7 a.m. GMT, we have retail sales data out of Germany uh, for December. Uh, jumping forward to 9 o'clock, uh, we'll have German unemployment uh, data for January. Uh, and that'll be followed at, uh, at 10 AM GMT by the unemployment rate for December across the whole of the Eurozone. In between those two uh, items, we'll have a ZEW uh, survey from Switzerland. Uh, we'll also have uh, at 9.50 a speech from uh, ECB board member Kerr, who uh, seems to be very active in the speaking department this week. Uh, to come then, uh, later in the day, 14.45 takes us over to the US for the Chicago Purchasing Managers Index for January. Uh, and then we jump forward to 1900 for the Fed FOMC interest rate decision. No press conference today. Uh, and this is Janet Yellen's last meeting, of course. Uh, I don't think we're expecting any changes, but one never knows. Right, moving on then. Breaking news and comment that's caught my eye. First of all then, those Chinese PMIs uh, showed a slowing industrial sector with a read of 51.3 down from the prior read, but a growing services sector coming in at 55.8, and that was up uh, nicely from uh, last month's numbers. Staying in Asia, Australian inflation has dipped across both quarter and quarter and year-on-year -year measures that were released uh, uh, early this morning, and, came, and all of those four measures came in below forecasts. President Trump delivered his first State of the Union address and he praised the economy and called for deals on infrastructure, uh, spending and immigration. Uh, US equities had sold off earlier in the day and the Dow 30 was down by around 1.3%, probably the biggest drop we've seen uh, in this year and, it, and if memory serves, probably over the last quarter as well. UK Prime Minister Theresa May will begin a visit today to China to discuss issues such as trade, human rights and Hong Kong's de democratic freedoms. Right, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and beyond. Uh, and why not think about this? Much of the recent rise in the euro has been driven by investor expectations of ECB tightening and an end to QE. But that may still be some way off. And the chart opposite shows us the expansion and the continued expansion of that of the ECB balance sheet, which now stands at around 4.49 trillion euros and is equivalent to more than 41% of Eurozone GDP. So, as you can see, that's still been growing and growing uh, quite steadily. Uh, so, we need to see more affirmative action from the ECB on uh, tightening before we can really believe that that's happening, I think. Right, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you are in any doubt about those risks or the suitability of the products for you, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative. Thank you for your time.